Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Casey, and we're senior developers at Google Wave. The first step is to create a new wave. A wave is pretty useless if you're by yourself, so I'm going to invite Casey. Because waves are real-time documents, I can watch what Casey types as she updates the wave. Waves support all kinds of embeddable multimedia, like pictures, Modern computer users are multitaskers who can type with one hand. I can stay organized by replying to what Mark says on the thread while adding dialogue of my own below. Because a wave is a collaborative wiki style document, I can also edit what's already been written. You can embed widgets from anywhere on the web onto your wave. Google Wave is open source, so any developer can add their own extension, like this survey. One of the most remarkable things about Google Wave is how easy it is to take a private conversation public. For instance, let's add Mark's wife to this conversation. The best way to catch up on a wave is with a feature we call playback. It allows you to playback the wave so you can see how it got to where it is now. <coughs> Wow, a lot can happen on a Google Wave in only two minutes.